weird singing coming from the Antarctic Ross Ice Shelf and is recorded by scientists by the American Geophysical Union. Let's hear it. You can listen to the weird singing from that recording on the our link I'll leave below for you. It's very weird and eerie. It's because of the wind whipping across the snow over the ice shelf. The weird singing sound recorded from one of Antarctica's ice shelves. The Ross Ice Shelf, as you see, is what we see in the red section of Antarctica here on the map on the lower side, lower left-hand side. It's kind of like you're blowing a flute constantly on the ice shelf itself, said Julian Caput, the geophysicist and mathematician from Colorado State University, as he said in a statement. The song was recorded over two years during observations of seismic changes to the Ross Ice Shelf, a slab of ice about the size of Texas. Caput, the scientist, is the lead author of the study about the singing ice shelf is published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. The discovery of the song could better help scientists monitor changes at the ice shelf. The ice shelves of Antarctica are weakening as a result of climate change, the scientists say, and are becoming increasingly at risk of collapse. If and when this happens, it could have global consequences, causing sea levels to rise significantly. While some people claim it's climate change, others claim it is the underground volcanoes found in Antarctica, found to be over 90 of them. A recent report from the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change found that we that are way off reducing global warming to the 1.5 Celsius target set out in the Paris Agreement, making monitoring and understanding how these shells are changing all more important. Preventing ice loss by limiting warming is becoming less and less likely. Okay, this is one aspect. They believe it's climate change. Uh, others believe it's also having to do with the hidden underground active volcanoes of Antarctica. Now, these ice shelves, researchers say, are floating buttresses of large glaciers extending over oceans. The Ross Ice Shelf, which is several hundred meters thick, covers an area of about 193,400 square miles, the largest ice shelf in Antarctica. The shelf is covered in snow dunes, mounds of thick snow that sort of act as blankets over the ice to prevent it from melting. Scientists and colleagues place extreme sensitive seismographs across the shelf for two years, and over that period they discovered that the ice shelf continuously sings, quote-unquote, that the song changes as the wind blows across the landscape, altering the sand dunes. So it's the sound of the wind across the snow over the ice shelf. The researchers say that the snow is constantly vibrating because of the winds, and that produces a sound a bit like a beating drum. Once we really started looking at it, the study author Rick Astor said, uh, it in detail, we were stunned by the richness of information there. It has lots of interesting features that we didn't elaborate on in the current paper, but we'll concentrate on it in future studies. For instance, the signals appear also to be sensitive to the alignment of the ice crystals in the snow and ice, and perhaps to cracks as well. They also show indications of sensitivity to ocean tides, which raise and lower the otherwise perturbed ice shelf, and the tides also cause tiny ice quakes. Ice quakes near the ice shelf edge and tells us something about its fracturing properties. Scientists believe the ice shelf song is a good way to track changes in real time, quote, whereas satellite-based observations are limited by orbital cycles and sparse measurements. This approach allows for direct structural interpretation of environmental forcing on extremely short time scales. That's what they conclude.